So here we're asked for the power of an AM signal and we're given the carrier power. And we're given the modulation index. And in the second part, we're given the sideband power and we're given the modulation index. And just to be clear, when it says the sideband power, unless it says it's the upper or lower sideband, the question is actually saying the total sideband power is 10 watts. So to answer a question like that, we would need to use the relationship between the sideband power and the carrier power. That's obviously related to the uh, modulation index. So for a carrier of power PC, the power in either sideband, so the power in the upper sideband, is equal to the power in the lower sideband, and that will be equal to PC times m squared over 4. Now, if that expression is unfamiliar to you, if you're not sure where that came from, if you wouldn't have known that, I'll, I'll show you how to derive that in a second. But for now, let's use that information and try to answer the two questions. So for part A, the total power is simply the sum of the power in each of the components, the carrier, the upper sideband, and the lower sideband. So the PC plus the upper sideband plus the lower sideband. So that's equal to PC plus twice the power in the upper sideband. And the power in the carrier is given in the question. So we can simply write that. The power in the upper sideband, we can use this expression here. So I can say it's simply 2 times 60 times a quarter times m squared, and m is 50%, so that's 1 over 2 squared. And if you put that into a calculator, you get 67.5 watts. So that's the answer for the first part. And you can see that there's 60 watts in the carrier and only 7.5 watts in the two sidebands combined. So you see how wasteful AM is in terms of energy. Now for part B, it's very similar, but this time we're given the total sideband power. So that's the power in both sidebands together. So again, the total power, same expression, it's the carrier power plus the power in the lower sideband plus the power in the upper sideband. And we're told that these two together are 10 watts. So I can use the expression for PC. Now, if I take this expression here and reverse it, I can say PC is simply P of the upper sideband times 4 over m squared. So I can say that's P of the upper sideband times 4 over m squared plus twice the power of the upper sideband. And the power in the upper sideband, in this case, is going to be 10 divided by 2, because we're given that the total sideband power is 10 watts. So we can simply write it out like this. It's 5 times 4 times 1 over 0 0.25 squared. So that's my modulation index. Plus the power in the sidebands. 
You can either say 2 times 10 over 2, or it's just 10, because that's what's given in the question. And if you put that into your calculator, you get 330 watts. Now I said I would show you how to um, derive this expression. So if it's not familiar to you, um, finding it is actually fairly straightforward. If we start with an expression for the power efficiency, eta. So that's um, equal to the useful power, or the power in the sidebands, divided by the total power, which is the power of the carrier plus the power of the sidebands. And we know that that can be written as m squared over 2 plus m squared, where m is your modulation index. So if you simply equate these two expressions and rearrange, if you were to cross multiply, you'd get And if I wanted to find the sideband power in terms of the carrier power, I'd bring all the uh, sideband power terms to one side. So I'd have PSB into, well, I guess these will cancel out. And we just divide by two. So the power in the sideband is simply PC times m squared over 2. And this is in both sidebands. So that means the power in each sideband will be half of that. So it's PC times m squared over 4. So that didn't take long to derive. You can derive that um, when you need it, or you can use, um, use the numbers or just use that uh, relationship. So that is your final answer. And that's how to deal with questions like this, where you're given the power of the carrier or you're given the total sideband power and you're asked to find the total power of the AM signal.